The Crunch completed the first half of his six games in nine days stretch this past week, winning two out of three games over a four game stretch Friday, Saturday, and then yesterday on Monday. Crunch started off that stretch with a come from behind dramatic four to three overtime win on home ice against the Belleville Senators. That was on military appreciation night for the Crunch. The next day they went out of the division, lost a two nothing game against the Wilkesbury Scrant Penguins for a shutout loss of the year for the Crunch and their first time being shut out since game four of the North Division semifinals. The Crunch, though, bounced back in resounding fashion with a 3-1 to -one win on Monday in Utica against the Utica Comets. That evened up the Galaxy Cup series with the Comets. Two goal performance by Boris Kachuk. Spencer Martin making his fourth consecutive start for the Crunch. Also very strong. He's been very good for the Crunch and getting more and more confident over the last week and a half. Yeah, it's been uh, perfect for me to get here and you know get a nice groove going. And uh, yeah, when you play games, it just makes it easier. And uh, yeah, like you said, they're playing really well, so it's uh, been a nice start. The Crunch will complete this stretch here with another three games in four night situation starting tomorrow night in Rochester against the Amherst. Then the Crunch have a couple of home games to wrap up the week Friday and Saturday. Friday again against the Comets, Saturday against the Cleveland Monsters. Those are the three teams right ahead of the Crunch in the North Division standings. So big opportunity for the Crunch to continue to gain ground in the North Division. The Crunch's two wins last week give them seven on the year. Now seven, four, two, and zero, oh, and with 16 points, they are in sixth place in the North Division. I don't know you point behind a handful of teams though in the division, and this race is getting tighter and tighter here in the middle part of November. So with this week getting started on Wednesday, there are four straight days where you can catch the Crunch on air. Wednesday night, like we said, in Rochester against the Amherst, third matchup of the season with the Amherst. Thursday night is Crunch Weekly from Tully's on Erie Boulevard, a six o'clock show, also on ESPN radio from 6 to 7 at Tully's on Erie Boulevard. It'll be me and a special Crunch guest once again on Thursday night. Then Friday, Saturday, home games for the Crunch. Hope you can join us here at the War Memorial Arena. It's the Comets on Friday night and the Cleveland Monsters on Saturday as the Crunch wrap up this very busy stretch of six games in nine days.